welcome to my channel. I'm Liz and I'm so glad that you're here today. Love you guys. And I'm hoping to bring you some idea today of what you can do with some of your craft supplies and some of your, some of your New Year's uh, creative ideas. So uh, first thing, let me show you something I got in the mail today that uh, I, I, you know how I like calendars. If you watch my channel on any given day, these, this beautiful calendar came to me today and and uh, I just wanted to share some of the pictures with you because they're just so beautiful. I mean, that can be a winter something or other, you know. And this is this has faith passages on it. So, oh, and here's January. So let's look at January. Um, I will lift up my eyes to the hill. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Yeah, he's not freaking out. I'm not going to freak out. Psalms 121.1. Anyway, but the pictures, I, and it doesn't tell where these pictures are taken. It gives credit to the photographer in the back, but it doesn't tell me the location. I mean, how gorgeous is that? Anyway, it'd just be nice to know. Oh, missed a month. Oh, that's the cover. Just look at the light on that. That's Thomas Kincaid worthy kind of thing, you know? So anyway, I just, I do love a good calendar. Wow, that's so cool. Where is that, right? <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, sharing some beautiful, beautiful pictures, photographs with you to start my video. Oh, that's wonderful. Oranges. That's a fall. That's for fall. Love it. Love it. And there's a winter one for next winter's journal. Okay, we'll see what happens in the year 2021. But I've got that to look on and... Those pictures are gorgeous. So what I'm working on today, and I've struggled a little bit because my daughter, is, one of my daughters is going to have a birthday at the end of the month. And she's like, Mom, I really want, I want a cookbook. I want, I want some of the recipes that we've grown up with through the years. And it's like, okay, I've thought about doing this, but how do I get started? I could just buy a cookbook. I could just buy one and just write everything in. I could. But I just wanted to make something special, something that was going to stand the test of time and she was going to be able to have with her for a really long time, an heirloom, so to speak. And I wanted to, I thought about ripping apart a, a regular book and putting my own papers in there and then the recipes. And anyway, it got really confusing. But what I came down to is, and I have another daughter too, and I'm going to make a double. So, but they're going to be different. So for my one daughter, I'm, I found... I found, um, I went on a hunt. I went to my local flea market, it's called Bart's, and I went looking for photo albums and the kind that has the, the slip through stuff, like this. And so I found this one and it has all these cool things in it. Um, these, these slide in, you know, pockets and even a little thing here that I could put notes in or something. But the fun thing about this, this was already slated for recipes and quotes from somebody. So she would have this, she had that in there and she had these little quotes in here and then she would have some recipes stuck in here. So, and one of them was actually really similar to, to a recipe I'm gonna make for my daughters. But I thought, you know what? I think that might be a good idea. And uh, so I, I picked that up, I grabbed that, and it's actually quite thick. And so far what I've got is, are these. And I took um, some Project Life cards that I didn't like the picture on the front of them. So I just put, the, put my recipe that I handwritten on there. And then I did some, did some this way and and uh, let's see, see, those are handwritten, handwritten, handwritten. And I did some um, printed out ones too from my computer. And I've been, I finally figured out how to do a few of those. And so those are fun. So um, and I'm not even halfway done. But uh, for this, because um, I made some long ways. So I also picked up one of these little photo things from a Goodwill. Right? So I started, I got one, I have two of those, and I started taking it apart. And these work 
perfectly and I can punch holes in and uh, just put it in this way. So isn't that fun? So that's how I'm gonna work on this one. And then also, I um, it doesn't have dividers, obviously. So I, when well, here's more of the guts. And I found it, I figured out a different use for these two. Um, but let me keep on one subject at a time. So these are gonna be my dividers, you know, for main dishes. And I just took some scrap papers that I had. I made one, this is gonna be one side, the front side, and I'll put the tab right there. I have to figure out how I'm gonna write the words there, whether I'm gonna type them, stamp them. Oh, I don't even know, so many options. Um, but a pocket on the other side. So these are gonna be all the separators. So, cause you always get these like magazine ones that you wanna, in the belly band, you wanna, pull out and you don't want to put in yet away right away and here's a, another calendar page that I used and aren't these fun papers this is my favorite I love this combination right here <laughs> anyway so those are going to be my dividers and this is going to be uh, one of my daughter's books and then I oh yeah see I wanted to make sure because when I printed these out it's like oh I wanted to make some long ways as well because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them and but it works perfectly so I'm so happy about that um, and this is an actual recipe box that I found and this one's going to be for my other daughter and um, so yeah I'm gonna it came with yeah where are they oh I'm sorry it's not this one my bad it's this one this is going to be and it is a recipe box I mean it's just and you write it out and you can put the recipe card right here while you're cooking and it'll stay there. So I'm um, and and it'll fit my four by sixes. So yeah, everything's gonna fit nicely in here, and then it'll have separators. This already comes with separators. This one's gonna be a little easier to do, a little easier to put together um, for her. And this is more her style. So it'll be something that she can just grab and it's not as as frou-frou. <laughs> this one's gonna be a little more frou-frou-y. So anyway, and I also uh, picked up an old cookbook and I have, I have some of my old, old cookbooks that um, I'm gonna print out some stuff from. So from the Sunset book, I mean, this just has some fun stuff in there, how to plan a tapas party for six to 24. That's just funny, because one of my daughters did that for us recently and this is a 1989 edition from the sunset magazine um but it's just got some really cool pictures in there so any blank spaces i'm gonna maybe put some pictures in wow wouldn't that be fun that's fun let's have let's have a little pot sticker party on a boat i love it so anyway there's a little dated but orange everything's orange so I like that. But then there's this cookbook that was my mother's. And so I've, I've earmarked a few pages that I'd like to maybe print out terms used in recipes and maybe put that on some of the um, fronts of, of the, the dividers, maybe. We'll see. So I've just got lots of Lots of ideas and how it's going to come out in a month. I don't know, <laughs> but it's going to be, it's a challenge, but it's fun. So, and my husband's contributed, contributed some recipes as well. Okay. I also picked up a couple more of these little albums and it's because I didn't know what I was going to do. So it's like, I know I can use these for something, you know, even if it's not for the recipe book, uh, recipe box, book, whatever I'm making, I know I can use these for something. Ephemera folders. Hello, I went looking, I went thinking about my ephemera for my Christmas stuff and look what I found. This is gonna have, gonna be able to put my magazine pictures in oh, up to a certain size, mind you. I mean, these are just little, these are four by six. So my four by six, anything's my words, cause I've got tons and everything's in, in um, plastic um, storage bags. And it's like, why I can just put things in here. So I'm a little excited to reorganize my Christmas ephemera to put in something like that. And I might have to gut it. I might have to take out a few pages just to make everything fit. So 
And now with all the cutting and stuff I've done, look at this luscious bin of extras I have to work with. Look at all these strips, you know? Cat um, Hand has a mixed media morsel. She's doing colors. She's doing a colors book for every once a month. And I'm thinking this might be good for that. I don't know. Anyway, so that's what I'm working on. That's where my mind has gone for the last, since I put up my Christmas stuff. Because I really want to get going on this. My daughter's birthday's in January. And and I've, I've kind of always wanted to do this. And I've looked at some online. And my goodness, some of them are just uh, so elaborate and gorgeous. And just full of things to touch and turn and flip. This one, I think, I'm just going to try to keep it simple. And... and Honestly, the simplicity of it is still complicating me. Like, here's another one. The only way to see a rainbow is to look through the rain. Nom anonymous. Anyway, so that's what I'm working on, you guys. A cookbook for a recipe book. Cookbook, you know, for my two lovely daughters. You know, and, I've, and through the years, I've emailed them recipes or texted them recipes, but this will be official. And I think with everything being covered, that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted all the recipes to be protected, so in a sleeve. Um, if I was going to make it with a book, I don't think I'd be able to do that. So this is going to keep them protected, Have them, having them in sleeves. And I'm using up some of my, um, my Project Life cards. I'm using up some scrap paper I haven't used in a while. Um, so yeah, that's what's my, that's what I'm doing. So, um, I will, I'm not going to work on it in front of you right now. I, I haven't processed out a thought on how that would look. Um, but, uh, when I do, I will maybe show a video too of how I'm going to work through these. That's all for today. You guys, thanks again for stopping by and love you. Take care everyone. And as always, God bless. Bye-bye.